Alzheimer's impacts half of all black families. HSC is investing in a new research study to find out why. To join, visit blackalzbrainstudy.com or call 817-735-2963. That's 817-735-2963. It's Sybil Wilkes with what you need to know. Today is Tuesday, February 16th, 2021. Number one. Saturday's acquittal of Donald Trump in the historic second impeachment trial may not be the end of holding him responsible for the U.S. Capitol attack or stopping him in the future. Investigations into what happened January 6th are on the drawing board or already underway. Republican senators, including Trump ally Lindsey Graham, are calling for a 9-11 style commission. And Democratic House Speaker Nancy Pelosi is also looking at that. Other Democrats are looking at the Constitution to ensure he never holds federal office again. Number two, over the weekend, Secret Service agents near the White House arrested an armed 66-year-old woman after she claimed she had a letter for President Biden. A search of the vehicle resulted in the discovery of a loaded gun and a BB gun. The encounter came the day before President Biden called on lawmakers to enact stricter gun laws in the wake of the third anniversary of the deadly school shooting at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida. Number three, black civil rights activists and business leaders are calling on the Biden administration to include targeted funding for black owned businesses in the next coronavirus relief package. Without the federal aid, the group says more of those enterprises could be forced to close their doors in the next 90 days. According to the New York Federal Reserve, the number of black businesses fell by 41% between February and April last year. White businesses fell by only 17%. Number four, a 27-year-old black pharmacy graduate student at the University of Tennessee has filed a lawsuit against the school after being faced with expulsion for her social media posts. The school said the photos of the young woman, which showed her cleavage in a tight dress as she stuck out her tongue, were vulgar, crude, and not within the mores of her chosen profession. The suit argues that the public university violated her constitutional right of free expression. Number five. Wall Street giant Citigroup is exclusively working with four Black-owned investment firms for a strategic billion-dollar bond issuance. Minority-owned broker-dealers, Black-owned firms in particular, have historically and largely been shut out of the capital markets deal. Stunning commemoration of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day marks the second time in recent weeks that a large U.S. financial services firm has made such a move. Here's your daily inspiration from Yogi's Jewels. You are special because God says so. Ignore those who don't agree. Join me today live on YouTube and Facebook at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central with J. Anthony Brown as we discuss today's top headlines and more. And thank you to our What You Need to Know partners, Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated and the University of North Texas Health Science Center at Fort Worth. To subscribe to my free daily newsletter, please visit SybilWilkes.com. Be informed, be empowered.